Hey, and El melatonin didn't work for me. What am I doing wrong? Why doesn't melatonin work for me? Took it at the wrong time. Didn't take enough. Took it too late at night. Too much blue light late at night. You had alcohol. You're stressed. You have an irregular sleep schedule, a sleep disorder, or a medical condition causing sleep problems. That is uh, John Hopkins University basically saying you're busted, bro. Skill difference. You really thought they were going to say, try drinking it with a glass of orange juice? They said it's over for you. <laughs> they said, don't even bother. I used to smoke weed with Johnny Hopkins. 200 average watts is legit. Bro, I've been, it's been known. 200 watts? It's just another day in the damn office, man. I don't know if anybody took that... Like, I did a 60-minute ride in uh, Liechtenstein this morning, and uh, nobody lives there. I already knew it was small. I didn't know that literally nobody lives there. They biked the entirety of the capital city and then biked up a mountain and then looked down at the capital city. Nine houses in the whole place. Then I, I appended a 15-minute ride in the Netherlands, and that boy was cooking, bro. He was he was filter passing and zipping into little arches, like whatever the dude's name is from uh, Mission Impossible, Ethan 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 Hunt. Is that it? He was passing e bikes and scooters and stuff like that. He was cooking, man. In Liechtenstein, whoever they got to do the ride in Liechtenstein was just like, Hoo. in the Netherlands, he was actually like initial D mode. He was running in the 90s. Plus, like, for at least five minutes of the uh, Liechtenstein ride, they were on the side of a hill. So the shit was tilted like 28 degrees clockwise. And I was like, what do I do here? Do I fuck up my inner ear sitting straight up, but my brain is like, why is the, the earth tilted? Or do I tilt myself 28 degrees to the right and then my back is like, take it easy, bro. It's 6.48 a.m. on a Monday morning. Let's start with some Vandal. Mandel bomb, Mandel bomb. Oh, it's like my worst uh, nightmare. Bro, just lean. Did you see the tweet from the VTuber? That was like, sorry guys, I can't stream today. I took too much lean. And then like 12 hours later, they tweeted like, wait, lean is a drug? Like they thought that cough syrup is just <laughs> called, it's slang for lean. Oh man. That's, a librarian's got that one cooked up without a doubt. I guarantee it. Okay, hang on. 2012, 1.8 billion views, a.k.a. my worst nightmare. It's not Gangnam Style. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. It's got kind of like, no, no, I'm going to, I'm going to. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's something in here, bro. Sound effect. I think I think that this is a girl talk song now, which is obviously not gonna be true for a number of reasons. Just skip me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pop some tags. I've only got $20 in my pocket. Now it's 12 years later on. I need $29 in my pocket. Okay. The bass definitely got it. You know what? You need the, you need the saxophone. If you don't get it on the saxophone, you're not gonna get it until the, the verbal clue. 
grida. Once you get that, it's over. Kind of went overboard with the samples, huh? Five, four, three, two, one, go! Okay, this is a this is a jam. I wasn't really partying when this song came out, but I imagine if you were like 18 with a red solo cup, this went kind of crazy. Went pretty hard in the 10th grade. <laughs> He released an album two days ago. Well, they don't call him Jer Jerry Seinfeld, reincarnated voice. They don't call him Macaless. <laughs> All right, let's do some dolls, shall we? Okay, Doku. It's Monday morning, nine. I'm not even going to say the time for various reasons. Um, let's debase ourselves with some Poke Doku. Let's get the brain pumping. Let's do some lateral thinking early. Kanto is Gen 1. Baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what to do with that one. And Monotype by Leak Duck. Mm. She said, let's hit the parking lot so I can leak your duck. I said, cool. I really want to, but this will do. I got to pick up my daughter because my baby mama beat me too. She said she understood and everything was kosher. I gave her a little Will, C little Will CD and a freaking poster. The judge reading Big Boy's lyrics back to him in a deposition. NL, you fool. There's no judge in a deposition. <laughs> You've lost your touch, old man. You've lost your touch. Okay. Normal Pokemon from Kanto. That's easy, bro. Radicate. 4% baby. Fairy Pokemon from Kanto. That shouldn't be tricky, but there's a little trickiness there. Poison Pokemon from Kanto. We're going to say Ekans. 12%. Fairy, I got to say Clefairy. And if this isn't right, I'm going to throw my PC in the dishwasher. Okay. Turns out it's not tricky. Hi, hi Tomo. Now, Fairy Baby must be Cleffa. If that's not a baby Pokemon, I don't know what is. Normal baby, kind of freaking me out. What about, um, hi Tomo, what's the Jinx baby called? He Heffalump? Buffalon? Heatmore? Give me a second here. Okay, monotype normality. Monotype normal. How about Rattata? Monotype fairy. How about Clefable? Please tell me she got no psychic in this, John. Monotype poison. How about Arbok? We're getting a lot of my... When the test questions give you the answers to other questions on the test. Now, here's the hard part. We got the H, but it's a full card bingo. Normal baby? There is no normal baby in the world of Pokemon. I'm going to say... Togepi could be a normal baby. No! It's an egg! That's like the most normal baby out there, bro. Poison baby. I just, I got no idea on that one. Normal baby. It's a little, the, the little Jinx is called Smoochum. That's a baby Pokemon for sure. Okay, but Jinx is not normal. <laughs> Togepi used to be normal, but they changed it to fairy. Oh, brother. <laughs> it was normal when you played? Actually, Togepi didn't exist when I played. That's how... Oh, Mun Munchlax I could have gotten. Badoo was not going to happen, but Munchlax I could have gotten. Igglybuff, I could have gotten that. Toxel, not likely. Badoo, more likely for me. What, what are they cooking here with Longcat, bro? Meowth G-Max? You played silver gold, didn't you? Common mistake. I played red, yellow, blue, and I watched the first season of the anime. I believe in the last episode of the first season, 
Togepi shows up, and I'm like, wow, I can't wait to see what's up with this dude. And then by the time the next season came to Canada, I was already cooking on another hobby at that point. Reading, reading Bruce Pandolfini books, probably. I ain't got time for that juvenile shit. I'm learning about the Nidorf opening. Jesse. Framed. Interesting. Interesting framed. Step one for me personally as a, as a noted cinephile. I got to guess that this is Friday Night Lights. Because it's Monday and there's light. <laughs> it's just, I mean, listen, I've never seen the Friday Night Lights movie. I know it's about football. And I know, like, you can picture an ex explosions in the sky track playing over this for sure. That one feels like a gimme. Like, I, people are saying great job. And I appreciate that. I guess you can't do better than one. But still. This is Monday. They should have put like a Tony Stark inserting the last infinity stone into his gauntlet. As a head coach, John Fox led two different franchises to Super Bowl appearances, the Panthers and this AFC team. Okay, John Fox. AFC teams that have made the Super Bowl between 2005 and 2015. The Patriots, the Bears, the Steelers. <clears throat> other teams the saints who are in the nfc i think the um patriots <laughs> the the denver broncos denver broncos wow that one is not as hard as it looks because only like five AFC teams have made the Super Bowl in the past 15 years. It was like 10 years of them being the Patriots. And then like the Chiefs are obviously coached by Andy Reid. So I don't know. I, I watched the, the... Wait, but the Broncos... Bronco, Broncos are AFC. Panthers are NFC. Because I watched the Broncos and Panthers Super Bowl at my friend's house. Beyonce played. I recall. Acquired from the Thunder in the Paul George trade, this big man spent two years as a sixth man with Indiana before making his first two All-Star Games appearance as a pacer in 2020 and 2021. That's simple. Christops, Christops Porzingis. No. Sabanis. That was my next guess. Damantis Sabanis. Louis Castillo had five seasons batting higher than 300 and made three all-star teams while playing for this National League East franchise, the NL East. The National League on the East side. <laughs> I am going to say that it is the team that is known as the... New York Mets. Wrong. <laughs> it is not the Mets. Who is it? The Marlins. I should have known. Why should I have known? In 2009, Wrangler Jeans began airing commercials featuring this NFL quarterback, who is now retired and in the Hall of Fame. Peyton Manning is not Peyton. Brett Favre! He's also extremely canceled. As someone who uh, stopped watching the NFL in like 2007, I know Brett Favre is, he's canceled for sending lewd photographs to a reporter, but um, I was surprised to find how canceled he is in 2024. He's committed some kind of fraud or embezzlement. He's defrauding the Mississippi government. He stole money from charity. <laughs> he stole money from a hospital. He was on the, the cover of NFL Quarterback Club 98. 
They're going to have to replace uh, in the Blu-ray for There's Something About Mary. They're going to have to superimpose Tig Notaro's face over Brett Favre at the end. It's not going to make any damn sense. We're cooked, brother. I'm just going to be honest with you. I have absolutely no idea who either of these individuals are. I have no clue. Um, wait, maybe, maybe this is John Mulaney and Melissa McCarthy or John McCarthy. John Mulaney, Melissa McCarthy. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you, people mock the technique going like this and, and covering up everything but the face. I was like, that's not John Mulaney. This is like some British panel show guy that I've never seen before. As soon as I did this, I was like, that's John Mulaney, bro. That's John Mulaney. Primarily selling chicken items. What fast casual chain with a green and white logo is decorated with a 1940s pre-jet aviation theme? Zaxby's. They're a chicken joint, right? No. Nope. Wingstop. I don't even know if they have Wingstop here. <laughs> it's not what the, what's Zaxby's? So I don't know. I was going to say Boston Market. Montana's Barbecue and Bar, Canada's home for barbecue. So true. Number one place to go when the Boston Pizza says it'll be a five-minute wait. This actor earned five Emmy nominations for being Jesse Pinkman. Aaron Paul. Following the sexual exploits of a high school senior during his parents' vacation trip, Tom Cruise, nobody knows Tommy like me. This is a movie called Risky Business, obviously. A top five hit, something just like this, was a collaboration between the Chainsmokers and Coldplay. Thank you, Peloton, for teaching me about music I never would have otherwise heard for good reason. I want something just like this. I know that one. Dude, I mean, I, I'm just pleased that we nailed the celebrity mashup. We also got the 89% Brett Favre jeans one wrong, but still, I'll take that. John Mulaney. It's crazy how if you um, put John Mulaney's face and not put it on John Mulaney's head, it actually looks nothing like John Mulaney. It looks like somebody from Little Britain. It kind of looks like both dudes from Little Britain. Okay, Connections. Connections has been making a lot of waves in social media. You got to suss out the red herring, okay? So listen, bitter, sweet, sour, salty, those are four flavors. But I think, <laughs> I think they might be, they might be tricking you, okay? Kind, sort, type, and variety. What are synonyms for a class ilk that's what i was getting at um just think of I, there's something in here sir real man <laughs> can there is it uh words that start with a synonym for a male sir man Bit, bra, Sal, Sal is a boy's name. You can tell I've been spending too much time with my three-year-old. It's a boy's name. <laughs> sweet, romantic. I mean, bitter, sour, sweet, salty, you, you kind of just got to throw it, right? T basic taste, okay. Confront, brave. Meet face to uh, meet to take on an issue, stand up to a challenge, romantic expression, surreal manner. They are going to give me a mental disorder. I have no idea. 
art movements with ism. Ah, that's not even tough. I just don't know anything about art. Can't win them all? Brother, we just won. Mannerism is an art? My mannerisms are artful sometimes. Modern art? I don't know what modern art is. Is that the best art for that to be a joke? Now we're cooking with gas. Let happen. Allow. Disney princess whose name is Hawaiian for ocean. Moana. What's sent on Venmo? Money. Toad the back, toward the back of a boat. Aft. Okay. See, this shit is pissing me off, okay? Because one time, we are playing trivia on a Disney cruise, okay? They said, name a Hawaiian Disney princess. My dumbass writes down Moana. When they go over the answers, they say, name a Hawaiian Disney princess. Someone shouts out Moana. They go close. Moana uh, is emblematic of the themes of the Pacific Islands. The answer we were looking for is Lilo. Okay, well then why is her name fucking Hawaiian, bro? I feel like that's a scam. I, in, in high school, I could get a half mark off the teacher just for presenting that argument. Lilo's not a princess. Actually, she's the uh, lead actress in a Disney animated film. They're all, they're all princesses. So true. She's like eight? Yeah, bro, and her dad is the chief. That makes her a fucking princess. Listen, I didn't invent primogenitor fucking inheritance, okay? You take that up with Paradox Grand Strategy Studio. Oh, I was talking about Moana. Yeah, I haven't seen Lilo and Stitch. But I have seen the soundtrack, and it's lovely. Coscodal. <clears throat> Garden lights. Spinach and egg frittatas, 20 counts. Made with mozzarella, 20 frittatas. 70 calories each. No big deal. You just got to eat half the box for dinner. We got to stop advertising things as low calorie. I get it. Don't get me wrong. But I'm now, at, and maybe we're in like an, a bit of an edge case here, but I'm at the point where I'm like, I, I might want to taste these, but I don't want to get them because they're only 70 calories. You got to eat the damn, half the damn box just to be satiated, man. I would, I would prefer if they were like, hey, there's 20 of them and they're 250 calories each. Then I'm like, okay, I could have like two for dinner or one as a snack or something like that. Keto Andes beg to differ? Do they have the energy to beg to differ? Bro, bro, that's ignorant. As soon as you get in ketosis and your body starts uh, converting the burning fat for energy instead of sugar, you have lots of energy, bro. Especially after my nap. Shut the front door, brother. We're going family-friendly mode on this. 20 frittatas. I'm going 8.99. Eggs are relatively cheap. Hey, librarian, thanks for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thank you. Why are they afraid of the word quiche? Um, I have to tell you on this one, this is not a quiche. A quiche has a crust. A frittata is a crustless quiche. Wouldn't think I'd have to go through this. I, I issued some required reading uh, this weekend. It was the Elements of Basic Cooking Style by Julia Child. It's more, I'm not paying this. I'm not, pay, I'm not paying $10.99. The, the, I'm, I'm sorry to say this. Listen, it's frozen food, so let's not even get into the conversation about whether or not it tastes good. But I'm, I'm simply not paying 12 bucks for 20 frittatas that are seven calories each. It's just, in today's America, that, that's a calculation that doesn't make sense to me. What about 12 CAD? Probably not, but... It's mostly because I don't really like eggs that much. 
I'm not, I'm, and trust me, any joke you could make, we've heard before. Blah, blah. The mathematics is not correct at all the time. I almost type French. Frittatas come from France, I'm assuming, which is why I, I guessed it. Um, it's 960 kilometers from France. Give me a Austria. Even closer to Austria. Okay, how about... Poland, even Hormer, but not adjacent, uh, and not adjacent to Austria either. How about Latvia? That's cooler. You don't want to go in that direction, brother. You're not that guy. How about Romania? Europe is actually, no disrespect at all. In fact, if anything, this is respectful. It's crazy that France to Romania is 960 kilometers. You pass like seven historical empires in what essentially amounts to what could be a 10-hour drive. I don't know. In Europe, it might take you 20 hours because the roads are winding, but it might take you five hours because there's no speed limits, right? Like, that's crazy. 960 kilometers? Like, let, let me show you, okay? 960 kilometers over here doesn't get you jack. <laughs> It might get you from Vancouver to Sacramento. That's not, I'm not, not even San Francisco and certainly not Los Angeles or San Diego, in my opinion. And it's all desert wrong. Um, none of it is desert. But it, in fact, it's actually beautiful. If you get, ever get a chance, I'd recommend taking the Pacific Highway. I mean, it's hard to do when you've got like a job because it, it's a long fucking drive. But it is gorgeous. It's actually a rainforest. That's 1,400 kilometers. Son of a gun. <laughs> it could take you from Vancouver to, uh, I don't know, even more northern California. I can't name a city that, that's that north. Texas is bigger than many countries. We have to do this every time. I'm sorry to the Texans. Texans are literally like, Texas is so big. It's smaller than British Columbia, bro. It's fine. Like, I'm sure in America you can get away with it because no one knows how big any other parts of the world are. But I'm going to keep you honest here, okay? Now, now go, go to the next argument. Go to the next argument. We have more economic power. Okay, is that what we were talking about? Braggy? Isn't BC just a frozen wasteland? We got fucking whales, bro. It's a rainforest. It does get cold, though. There's eight people there. Isn't that what you like? Isn't that why you move to the American South? Is so that your neighbors can't hear you fart? I thought that was like your whole thing. You're cooking their ass? I, I, we didn't have to get... I have no problem with Texas. I mean, I, I, like, I imagine if you took the median Texan, I would disagree with them on some things, but I respect it as an American state that has its own distinct cultural identity a great history of cuisine, and certainly is one of the economic engines driving the earth, not just the nation, but the earth. But like, stop bragging about how big your shit is. It's not that big, okay? It's not your fault that there's fucking 50 states, but quit bragging, okay? That's all I'm saying. Stop glazing Texas. Texas gets more money from the government than it contributes. I believe that you fact check it, but I don't believe the fact. How can that be true? They all have 10 gallon hats. There's no way, man. Dude, come on. Go, someone run the numbers for me on that. And by run the numbers, I mean look it up. There's no, isn't Texas like the sixth largest economy in the world if you took it out of the United States? Hang on, I got a burp. That's California. Okay, isn't Texas like seventh then?
They are a net contributor. Look at that. Listen, we're not going to, we, we can argue with facts and logic, okay? We don't have to uh, debase ourselves by telling lies about Texas. We can just use the stuff they willfully tell us to make fun of them. It's eighth on a basic Google search. Thanks for the insult. It wasn't, it wasn't a particularly complicated Google search. It was a basic Google search. Hmm, why didn't I do that? Oh, maybe because I'm fucking trying to guess what this piece of crap is right here. Isn't this the country that's on its own flag? Is this not Kosovo? Or have I lost my mind? Oh, <laughs> really? I thought it was the country that's on its... Or is it Cyprus? And Cyprus is on its own flag? Oh, no, 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 I'm lost. You're Georgia. You are Georgia. Okay, we got there. I guess the, the one that's on its own flag is like, it's like rotated a little bit. Bonus round, please. My life is a bonus round. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. January 19th, 2001. Okay, I am in the seventh grade. It's just after Christmas break in the seventh grade. People going apeshit for Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. People are going apeshit for like Moulin Rouge. People losing their minds over over Moulin Rouge. Let's see. Second week, 44 million, starring Julie. People were going crazy, 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 crazy for Save the Last Dance. This movie is one of the biggest movies from my adolescence that's now completely forgotten. 20th Century Fox, it has made $181 million, but it's too late for X-Men and too early for X2. Starring Tom Hanks in 2001. Pre the terminal, post Castaway, pre Toy Story three, post Toy Story two, and that obviously wouldn't be Twentieth Century Fox. I got I got to simmer on this for a second. I'm gonna know it obviously. I just got to simmer it a bit. Well, let's see. It's an adventure drama. We'll simmer that one for just a second. I don't want to use too many clues if I don't have to. USA Films forty six milli. Starring Michael Douglas from the year 2001. Am I insane to think this is a movie called Unfaithful? That's Richard Gere, you piece. Michael Douglas, 2000... I got a simmer on that one. I mean, it's January here, but still. Sony Pictures, 8 milli. Starring Jason Statham, 2001. Certainly feel... I feel like that's a little early for The Transporter. I feel like it might be Snatch. I'm assuming that word traveled slower back in the day. So this was probably making waves in England. Obviously, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels had come out earlier. But like, it wasn't like, you know, bam, everything everywhere all at once hits. And then like everyone on the earth under the age of 28 saw it in like a month. Like sometimes it would take like two years for this stuff to kind of reach like a cultural zeitgeist. And now everybody knows Snatch now, but at the time it was like a, it was a slower build. There was no internet. Well, you paid by the minute, at least. Sixth week, Paramount Pictures, 162 milli, Mel Gibson, 2001. A comedy romance, it's what women want. Best use of five points I've ever seen. What women want. Okay. Tom Hanks. Helen Hunt. It's Castaway. <laughs> I was wrong. It is not too early to be or too late to be Castaway. That's Castaway, bro. USA Films Michael Douglas in the thriller drama crime category. Ah, it's Don't Say a Word. I'll never tell anybody. What? Tagline: No one gets away clean. Also starring. Benicio Del Toro. I gotta reveal all hints. Is this just, it's Steven Soderbergh. It's fucking traffic, bro. I should have typed in traffic. I should have typed in traffic. 
I don't know why in my head Michael Douglas is not on this poster. Traffic for me is a, it's a Steven Soderbergh, Benicio Del Toro, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Paul Rubens joint. Or am I, do I have it confused with Blow? With um, Penelope Cruz and Johnny Depp. She does dip beneath the lasers. Anyway, that was okay. You got it combined with Blow somehow. I mean, you know, they both came out around the same time and I was like 12. I'll give myself a pass for that one. It's a Catherine Zeta-Jones joint in my mind. Don't quote Ray Charles in my chat. We already had Georgia in World Law. I'm going to guess that Nick Frost and Simon Pegg go together. Sandra Bullock, only two characters. Alfonso Cuaron, astronaut. That's Gravity. Uh, remake, Melissa McCarthy, Ursula. This is Hot Fuzz. Give me, a, give me a moment here. Only two characters here. Hot swap these ones. This is Spotlight. This is the Little Mermaid remake. Now, here's where things get tricky. <laughs> uh, here's where things get tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Rachel McAdams, Astronauts. I don't believe it's the time traveler's wife. The astronaut's wife? That's a different movie, too. That's from when I was, like, 10. Melissa McCarthy, uh, slang term for police. Boston, Sandra Bullock. The Heat, 2014. He's actually done it. To what, 2013? Whatever. <laughs> you got me. It is 2013. Hey, NL, I was having Balato Balatro dreams last night. I hear you. I went to bed at um, 10.30. I woke up at 3 to clean up some cat vomit, and I woke up at 4 because my daughter was crying. And every time I woke up, this is what I say, like, when you're asleep, your brain is conscious, and then when you wake up, it, like, flushes what you were doing when you were sleeping. Every time I woke up, I was like, holy shit, I've been playing Balatro in my head for, like the last 90 minutes at a minimum. If I had slept all the way through the night, I never would have known, but I caught myself lacking overnight. Like I, it, I woke up to the sound of like my cat going, and then in my head, I was like, I've just been matching like king, 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 king. No wonder my ass is fucking sleepy, bro. Take a rest. It's a mind virus. The Fugitive Air Force One. Movies that star Harrison Ford. Maybe not. Oh, he's probably in Star Wars last time I checked. The adaptation is, of course, Nicolas Cage. Chris Coop, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep, who is also in... Am I in well, she's in Mamma Mia. Am I insane to say that she's in Don't Look Up? Did she no, she was the president, right? She would debase herself with that. And then Lake Placid. Witness. Independence Day. Red. Lost Highway. You got a little David Lynch in there. A little Robert Blake in there. Space Balls. Mamma Mia. Okay, let's start crunching some numbers. Don't Look Up should go here, because this is the Meryl Streep connection. This will give us one piece away from Harrison Ford. And the rest of them, I'm confused. Wait, whoa, whoa, okay. Air Force One, Angel Has Fallen, Don't Look Up, and Independence Day are movies where 
the president is in danger. <laughs> yeah, okay, hang on. Oh, the films in which they play fictional presidents. Okay, all right. The hell else was Harrison Ford in, bro? So this must, they must all be the same. Ah, okay. Red, Angel Has Fallen, and Seven are all Morgan Freeman. Lake Placid, Independence Day, and Lost Highway. My problem is, I don't know. So Morgan Freeman or Harrison Ford were not in Spaceballs. So this must be swapped. <laughs> who, who is, what's the Spaceballs connection? Bill, oh, Bill Pullman. He's the guy from Lost Highway, of course. I, I, I got tunnel vision thinking like LL Cool J was going to be here somehow. And then they get hot swapped. All right. I didn't know Morgan Freeman was in the, uh, he was in the Lego movie. I had no idea. It's a good puzzle, though. <clears throat> Everyone's in the Lego movie? I didn't know. I was like 31 when it came out. He plays God in the Lego movie? He actually has to be, if that's true, and I don't know if that is true because I haven't seen it. If that's true, he must be the actor with the most credits as God. He's got at least two. X to Serpico. All right. Palacho! What is... <laughs> Gattaca! You can... What is X? X stars one or more of the uh, elevated horror It Girls. I believe Mia Goth is in it. Jenna Ortega might be in it. And I know Serpico is Al Pacino and um, John Casale. So we're going to start with X, because I don't know how the hell to... By the way, dab me up a little bit, okay? Look at this. It's got Jenna Ortega and Mia Goth. And Kid Cudi. I'm just, Byron Skillington. Byrony Skillington. Sounds like... <laughs> I don't want to be rude. It just sounds like something you order at, like... The Haunted Mansion restaurant at Disneyland. So I think we got to get to, we got to go backwards. How does one go backwards? I think you go Karen Gillen. And then I'm not going to connect through Marvel because this is like a, a rule that we, we use. So we have to get to Al Pacino. I would think that you go the bubble from Judd Apatow, which will then have someone who is in Funny People. Or you could get, they're, they're two away at worst. Funny People takes you to Adam Sandler, which takes you to Jack and Jill, which takes you to Dunk. So if I had to guess who was in Funny People, my biggest guess would be his wife, Leslie Mann. Put some respect on it, bro. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to know, man. Sometimes you just got to know. Now, we didn't do it in two. You can go Britney Snow to Hangman to Al Pacino. But Karen Gillan, The Bubble, Leslie Mann, Funny People, Adam Sandler, Jack and Jill, Al Pacino. Pretty good. Pretty good. I can't be mad about that. Maybe I'm not washed in movie to movie anymore. Is it possible that I've undergone neurogenesis? You didn't do it in 13, which is an improvement. Yeah, okay, well listen, watch yourself. This is The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Metacritic score 91. This is Shadows of Shadow of the Colossus. Originally on the PlayStation 2. This is Ico. A action Adventure Stealth. 
Smell like you're a solid three piece walker. I guess I should, or snake eater. I guess I should have known from the snake, huh? <laughs> I, got, I got tunnel visioned on the Mexico filter. I was like, bro, this has got to be Ico. That's true. I wish I could do a, a Joe from Family Guy voice. Snake eater. <laughs> it's my heart was in the right place. They absolutely no room for execution on that one, but my heart was in the right place. That's so bad. You know, it's the, he says, hey, Peter, snake eater. Guys, I'm just going to level with you. If you thought about clicking on the big green button, you're not ready for unauthorized or unsupervised internet access. You know, if this was 2007, that's one thing. You Google where to download movies, you go to a web page, and then it has eight big red buttons that say click here, click here, click here, click here, click here. And then there's one little blue hyperlink that has the name of your movie with DivX on the end. <laughs> that's a different story, okay? This is God of War. New. This is an ice axe from Rise of the Tomb Raider. Yes, okay. I played that game. This is from a different era of my life. I played the game through in its entirety, which is crazy. They, one, if I ever did Two Truths and a Lie, Gaming Edition, and I had the full chat, my lie would definitely be that I beat, or my, my truth would definitely be that I beat Tomb Raider and Rise of the Tomb Raider all the way through to completion. What would your lie be? I don't know. I could say anything because I know you're picking the Tomb Raider thing. Did you have fun? Like, reasonably so. <clears throat> I don't know why. I don't really know why I did it. You know why I did it? And that, like, I'm, I, this is not like an r slash child full uh, bit, okay? But, like, I just had more time than I knew what to do with. I may never see those days again. Nowadays, I'm like, if I had 12 hours to fucking beat the story mode of Tomb Raider that I thought was like a three and a half out of five, you know what I do with that now? Well, I'll tell you, first thing I probably do is respond to my account's emails before it becomes like a dire situation. <laughs> now, <laughs> with the remaining eight and a half hours, I don't know, man, but I'd be cooking. The lawn would look mighty nice, let's put it that way. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Mach Sonic Adventure 2. All right, that was not a good guess. I'm going to take the most recent game that's come out, Helldivers 2. All right. Well, okay, Sony was involved. Or if, if Arrowhead was involved, we would know it because it would either be Magicka or... The showdown effect, or like Helldivers 1. Okay, so getting Sony's a big get. It did not come out on the PS5, but it probably came out on the PlayStation fucking 3. Maybe Heavy Rain was involved in this at some point. Okay, there's a Sony connection. It's later than 2010, and it is not an adventure game, which we already knew, but it's a, sh a shooter or a tactical game. Um, Kill Zone. Shadowfall possibly came out for... Whoa! It only came out for PS4. Killzone 3, bro. That's Once you start getting those green boxes, it's over. Best guess of my life was, was Helldivers 2. Giving us the Sony connection really put us on the right track early. Daily Tomato movie trivia. My goat's hidden the glizzy sideways. You know what I realized? I, I was thinking about this this weekend. I'm not doing this just to be, uh, I don't know, like what, what's the word, contrarian? 
when I get close to the end of a hot dog, I kind of eat it like a hamburger. Like I kind of turn it sideways. And when I get close to the end of a hamburger, I kind of eat it like a hot dog. Like you, you'd have to be crazy to eat a hot dog or to eat a hamburger like a taco when you first get it. But when you got like four bites left, rotating it on its axis and, and doing it hot dog style feels right. There's something like when I get a, uh, I had a, a long Italian sandwich this weekend. It was not from Subway. Okay. And you know, as an aside, I, cause I'm living in my nineties era. I went to the restaurant. I ordered it at the counter. Guy handed me the sandwich five minutes later said, Hey, I like your jacket. They're right. Men don't get complimented enough. My ass is straight as hell. And I was like, I mean, it got me feeling a certain way. I was like, he likes my jacket. <laughs> Holy, it felt, I'll be riding on that compliment until like the 2030s, bro. What kind of jacket was it? It was mesh and I had no shirt on underneath. So you can see both of my nipple piercings. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a jacket. Anyway. When I, I was eating the sandwich, normal way. I should be careful with my hand placement, I suppose. Got to the end of the sandwich, and you know, they got like a seam. Like the, the bread is closed on one side, and then it's open on the other side where they made the cut. I was like, the end of the sandwich? You got to go like that, bro. It's, it's designed to be consumed in that capacity because it's got the load-bearing edge on the bottom. I'm not saying we're eating sandwiches all wrong. Like, there's a reason that people eat them the way they eat them. I'm just saying, next time you're eating it, think about it a little bit. If it's cut all the way through, you don't have a choice because your shit's all going to fall out. But if it's only cut 75% of the way in, like a hot dog bun, render on the, onto Joey Chestnuts, that which is Joey Chestnuts. A 1978 adventure animation film with two words. Oh, no. Robin Hood. Probably not PG now that I think about it. It's a work deeply enamored with its source material. The Hobbit. It's The Hobbit, 1978. I hate that they made me type the. Here we go. A one is not The Hobbit. The Hobbit. A rather faithful adaptation of Richard Adams's book. Uh oh. Next. <laughs> The ra oh, Watership Down, the rabbits, the rabbits, George, the rabbits. Kind of a goaded poster, too. We get these. I never read it. I don't like animal books. Um, a little food guesser. They disappoint me. Interesting. I mean, to me, this looks like a, a beef burgundy. I see flat leaf parsley, carrots, and large chunks of beef with a bay leaf. This seems emblematic of French cuisine. I'm going to say this is from the country known as France. Beef burgundy. It is indeed. A classic French dish. Let me guess, it's rooted in the traditions of the region. <laughs> of course the food is rooted in the heritage of the tradition. It came for free with your fucking culture, bro. Now this is a full English breakfast from the nation of the United Kingdom. Also called a full Scottish or a full Irish. Depending on whether the pub that you're at in Vancouver serves Boddington's Guinness or harp. We go next. This is soup. <laughs> Am I fucking crazy? It's soup and saltines. How could I not say it's served in a mug? This is the United. This is the, not the United. It's Canada. What? It's it's the United. Two thousand kilometers. It's the United States. Chicken mole. The fuck is chicken mole, bro? That's soup. The exact origins of chicken mull are unknown. The name mull is derived from Scottish, which means fish or meat stew. 
it typically contains chickens, onions, celery, carrots, potatoes, and a thickening agent. Yeah, I've heard of this recipe before. It's called Every Soup That's Ever Existed. It's a popular comfort food in the southern United States and also every other country on earth. In recent years, chicken mole has gained recognition outside of the South and can be found on the menus of some restaurants. Bro, it's, it's chicken soup, bro. That's every fucking soup on the planet. It's not soup, it's mole. It's not soup anymore, it's mole. Anyway, we still got 14,000. I'm a little pissed off, though. Chicken mole. It's, it's pissing me off even more because there's a soup called mulligatani. It's like they're imposing on two different parts of the soup political compass here. You're right. Rainbolt would be like, that's American grass. That's Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. Nominated for an acting Oscar. $100 million plus box office run. Three or more word title. Okay. Easy, bro. <clears throat> Easy. Amy Adams, $100 million plus box office. Amy Adams, three or more word title. Catch me if you can. Old heads remember that she was in that. 17% of people remember that she's in that. Jessica Shastain, $100 million plus box office run. Ridley Scott sends his regards. This is The Martian. Jessica Shastain, three or more word title. Am I crazy to think that Jessica Shastain is in, a nominated, in an Oscar nominated movie called Women Talking? Guys, I'm fucked. I am fucked. I'm fucked, bro. Three or more word title. The Suicide Squad. $100 million box office run. Suicide Squad. Now, unfortunately, there's only two Suicide Squads. Otherwise, because you know she probably got popped for Best Supporting Actress for that. Best actress, they did a big campaign for Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, obviously. Viola Davis, nominated for an acting Oscar. Okay, hang on, hang on. Amy Adams, uh, nominated for an Oscar, is going to be a rival. That's politics. That's politics. It's going to be American Splendor. I mean, as I do this every time. American Hustle. $100 million plus box office run, Amy Adams. Sure, Arrival's going to be in there. We could juice it a little bit. We could juice it a little bit. We could juice... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It, Jessica Chastain is in Scenes from a Marriage, bro. What? With Oscar Isaac. Oh, it's like a HBO fucking we cut a movie into four pieces type of joint. Okay, and what, I mean, listen, it's easy, but I want to, I want to kind of fucking fish for something a little, maybe like Blades of Glory. She's not in that one, huh? <laughs> walk hard. Is she in Walk Hard? We should just pull, just get some points on the board, man. This is a disaster. Oh man, that's Jenna Fisher. She's in one of those comedies. She's in one of those. Oh, she's in Talladega Nights. Oh. <laughs> oh, Talladega Nights. Enchanted. Fences. Fences. It was on the tip of my tongue. Zero Dark Dirty, of course. Interstellar. That was a tough one for me. I'm not beating the allegations today. Amy Adams is in Tenacious D in The Pick of Destiny. Actually insane three or more word title guess. You should use that. That's a good one. Is 
Is Jessica Chastain really in both movies where Matt Damon gets marooned on a strange planet? So far. So far, you're right. That's astute. I never thought about that. Evince a verb meaning to constitute outward evidence of. Evincere comes from Latin, merging <laughs> e for two and vincere Excuse for conquer. Me? Evince a verb meaning to constitute evince? outward evidence of. Evincere comes from Latin, merging e for two and vincere for conquer. Evince a verb meaning to constitute outward evidence of. I don't even know what of. she's asking. Evincere comes from Latin, merging e for two and vincere for conquer. Evince a verb meaning to conquer. Evince. E vince. <laughs> oh, baby. Dom, a noun meaning a stately building, mansion. This word has roots in French, Italian, and Latin languages. Dom, a noun meaning dom. a stately building. Okay, that's not... A, a dome is a tennis ball cut in half, actually. Cranky. A adjective right, meaning... listen with your insect, tweets. A noun meaning any of a... They brought the heat today, Wanted. Man. A verb meaning to be needy or... Okay, next. Meeting. A noun meaning an act or process of... That's way easier than any of the easy words. Merely an adverb meaning nothing more than... Only Merely, good word. Stilton. A, a cheese. You're not going to beat me on a cheese? Chives. A noun... Chives, I'm sure. Brazenness. An adjective <laughs> meaning made of brass. I love when the AI gets uh, tripped up. You know, like when a human being struggles to pronounce a word and they sound it out? I love when the AI goes brazenness. Like they're running out of chat GPT tokens. Corta. A noun meaning a long, loose-fitting, collarless shirt of a style originating in India. The word kurta is derived from Hindi. Yep, I could have told you that. <laughs> a unwanted. An adjective meaning being out of the ordinary, rare, unusual. A unwanted. An adjective meaning being out of the ordinary, rare, unusual. A unwanted. An adjective meaning being out of the ordinary, rare, unusual. A unwanted. An adjective. Am I stupid? This can't be a word. This is a word you make up in a Final Fantasy game. Like, oh, bro, don't hit the boss with your magic attack right now. They're not a unwanted until the next stack pops. A unwanted. An adjective meaning being out of the ordinary. I, okay, all right, fine, okay? I don't know where the A come from. <laughs> where the A comes from, I should say. And it wasn't unwanted like an Angelina Jolie movie where the bullets go straight. So it had to be with a different vowel. Pamphlet. Oh. A noun meaning an unbound... Any day of the week. Hallucinations. A noun meaning... Verger. A noun meaning the greenness of growing vegetation. Also, yeah. such vegetation... Uh, really? I would have thought it would be with an E for like verdancy. Oh, verdure. <laughs> verdure. Oh my god, the gurs is so verger. Look at the verger of the gurs. In semblance. I think we did really well today considering we had to figure out what half the words were based on the cooked pronunciation. I mean, Aeon Wanted was like a hell of a pull. And then this one's just for daddy, honestly. Is it? <laughs> Is it? Okay. Oilers and um, Blackhawks. There's a guy called Steve Sullivan. All right. That was fun. Hope you had a good time. Fuck you. Steve Sullivan didn't... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Steve Steos. Sergey Samsonov. I knew it. I knew it. Connor eats pants. I'm just joking. Do you see that video of the guy drinking all the uh, ancient bacteria in that glacier? And then when he pulls the mug out, it kind of looks like Connor eats pants. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, me too. Me too. What do you mean? Well, he's in like, you know, Alaska or Antarctica or something. 
and he dips his mug into like a, a an antediluvian stream of water to be like, check out how fresh this water is. He's probably fine, don't get me wrong. Like maybe that water has been flowing for, you know, a million years. But like all the tweets that replied to it were like him at the doctor when he finds out he's got 15,000 different parasites that have no historical record of ever having existed with human beings before. But it's like, it's water, bro. Water can't make you sick. <laughs> it's water. It's like, it's the universal solvent, bro. Some people can just tank it. So true. Like those people on I Was Poisoned that were like, every time I drink this Mountain Dew, I get sick. This is our third 12 pack and we're both at the hospital now. And then they showed a picture of the, the outside of the can. Like, you're going to look at the can and be like, yeah, that did it. You can really tell. Oh, man. Maybe this is not fair, by the way. Did I even slash marker, slash marker me on the dolls? Of course, we're going to play some more Balatro. If I was like a fast food company and didn't have anything better to do, I think I would fucking sue I was poisoned, okay? Because like, can you just do that? Can you just post to like, you know, 500,000 people that this shit gave me food poisoning and it's a picture of your DoorDash receipt? Like, that seems like fucking libel, bro. For all I know, your ass could be poking your finger up your diarrhea butt cheeks and then like, you know, spreading it under your soft palate. Like, you can't prove that the McDouble gave you listeria. I got horrible food poisoning. Never once did I go, oh, I bet it was the fucking, at that highly regulated restaurant that I ate at. I was like, I bet my ass was two fat tugs deep in the kitchen. Kroskin to probably use the same knife to cut some raw pork that I used to cut the green onions and then fucked my shit up. That's why you don't do that. I learned my lesson. Costco ceviche? Listen, motherfucker, Costco wouldn't do that shit to you. It's probably a subcontractor that they white label Kirkland signature on top of, okay? What a game, this ballot show game. Wow, 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 wow. Update, sub price change on March 28th. Yo, Twitch finally took my advice. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Me in November saying Twitch should raise the prices of subscriptions. It's the only thing that hasn't been in impacted by inflation. Laughing my ass off. Me when Twitch actually takes my advice and I become the most hated person on the website. <gasps> I was joking. I was joking. Hey, may, let me open the email. Maybe sub prices are coming down. Um, I got some bad news, guys. <laughs> me, when I get an email from Tubi that says we're updating our subscription price, then I open it up and it says, honestly, we haven't been bringing the heat on the back catalog. We're going to give you a couple months free. Yes! Me when Disney Plus says they have to charge me double this year because they spent too much money making the Avengers meet Santa Claus series that they released on Christmas. No! My Michael Mann and Ridley Scott 20th Century Fox joints! No! They paid Michael Pena $117 million to be in Ant-Man 3! No! <clears throat> Slash marker. Balatro. Hey, NL, can you explain Balatro like a 10 year old? Sure. This game's hotter than Prime. It's swagged up. No cap. Bruh. 
I have become my father. Um, I, I, I know this is how you know a roguelite is good is when you start telling people war stories. I had a run last night where I had the Joker that re-triggers all face cards. And then I had DNA, so you can like duplicate one card every every round. And I created 60 jacks with gold seals. I got five of a kind jacks with gold seals that all re-triggered. Da -dunk -a -dunk -a -dunk -a -dunk -a -dunk -dunk -dunk. Every time I play the five of a kind, 30 bucks in my pocket. Plus the bull joker that gives you uh, two chips for every dollar you have or something like that. Plus the Joker, like the cowboy boot, that's like plus two molt for every five bucks you have. Now I still lost that anti twelve, I think, but it was a it was a novel run. It was a very interesting run. It was. Let's start simple today, okay? How about checkered deck? We we may indeed be flushing it up. For all I know, let's start a little easy here. Squam, squam, squam me, squam, 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 squam. He's squamming, squamming. He is squamming. Sorry. <laughs> Nothing else works on green steak. I wouldn't know, honestly. I, this might be like my second time ever trying it. We're just, for now, I mean, you got smeared deck. You do a little, you do a little smearing of your own. Gross Michelle early, insane tech. Neptune might be valuable. Um... 10 bucks to save 25% on every single shop from this point onwards is fantastic. Move your camera. Great idea. Place myself over here. Sam I am be like, I don't know about green steak. I've never tried it. So true. Why, what, why am I buying four of a kind? <laughs> I've been reading a lot of Dr. Seuss to my daughter. And she's old enough now that I can, like, ask her what she gets out of the stories, right? Whenever I read her Green Eggs and Ham, it, like, kind of pisses me off a little bit. So when we finish the book, I'm like, what's the moral of the story? And she always says, like, don't eat Green Eggs and Ham. And I'm like, you literally got it backwards, lady. The moral of the story is, like, instead of getting into a 70-page long argument saying you don't want to try something, just take a bite. Worst case scenario, you don't like it, and then Sam I Am will leave you alone. Best case scenario, you're like, holy cow. This is delicious. My banana went extinct? Brother. <laughs> really? I needed that. That was like, that was a very important part of what I was cooking up here. I guess I'll, I'll buy both of these for now. I need, I need some support. Don't worry, it breaking is good for later. Me when I'm in a don't spoil things competition and my opponent is Twitch chat. Wait, me when I'm in a... Sp you, you got the idea. Listen, brother. <laughs> We're all in this together. <laughs> Two bucks? Oh, that's because I shouldn't be here. But pop popcorn! Popcorn's kind of like it's got some gross Michelle aspects to it as well. We're not going to be able to afford the rare joker. And sometimes, honestly, the rare jokers ain't all that in a bag of potato chips, brother. Not always. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. <clears throat> now this is a good uncommon joker. Every playing card you add to your deck gives you times 0.5 molt. We take that any day of the week and twice on Mondays. All spades are debuffed. Not really that big of a deal. I, I'm realizing it turns out it's a pretty significant advantage to have nine cards in hand when you've only got two suits. <laughs> it's very nice. Okay, you know what? We, I think we start leveling. Give me some better cards. Give me some Jumbo Arcanas. How was riding on Butter this morning? It was okay. I think that I've desensitized my undercarriage uh, to the point where I can go a day or two without uh, without having chamois butter, without sanding the tip of my you know what off. But I was I I put myself in my wife's shoes. She definitely like came down to my office and was tidying up, and she's like, "Oh, an empty bottle of uh, chamois butter. He doesn't need that. He should have thrown it out like a week ago." 
but me every morning when I still had the bottle, trying to squeeze it like a roll of toothpaste. And come on, come on, you piece, squeeze it to the end, and then like try to grab the stuff that comes out. But as soon as I release the pressure, it goes like right back in the bottle, and I'm like, no, 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 no come on, there's still a dose in here, there's still a dose, and I'm like scooping a finger like into the aperture to get something out. There was still like a couple of microliters in there, bro. Of course, it's always tempting. Let's let's just focus on improving our hearts for now. I think you you go Wheel of Fortune later. I'll take a random Joker, bro. You never know. That's a great Joker. That's a fantastic Joker. Wow, creates a legendary Joker. Don't mind if I do. Perkyo creates a negative copy of one random consumable card in your possession at the end of the shop. So if I buy Saturn, it will then I don't use it, then it will give me another Saturn that doesn't take space. Interesting. And it's, it, it freaking sells bigly, bro. <laughs> um, I mean, we should probably get polychrome, but are we gonna have the money? <sighs> Gotta think about that. Bro, if we could get hologram, if we could get, no, this doesn't make any, well, no, 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 it does make sense. If you could get, if you could buy the spectral card that then gives you five or they, any enhanced cards in deck and then you just copy it every single round and then you go crazy with the yeah 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 there's something to do here there's something to do here you can also double the negative cards you genius okay let's be patient if anything we would sell this saturn and probably double that saturn negative wheel crashed my game a steering wheel that doesn't fly out the window while you are driving. We do need a replacement for popcorn. Probably don't need it too sweet, but... Scram, scram me. Um, I'm gonna sell you. We, we have to slow our roll here. Like, it's not gonna happen overnight, okay? Listen, buddy. <laughs> I'm not selling all my jokers to double per kilo. That's that's a fool's gamble. I will add a purple seal to a card in hand for tarot cards. Sold the wrong one. I guess that makes sense. We don't need to keep the negative. Although it dupe, I was gonna say duping the negative makes more sense, but they all become negative anyway. Sorry, small price to pay. Popcorn, we have to sell next round, okay. It's better to keep the negative for space. Yeah, how do you feel about that chatter? It turns out it's actually better to keep the negative for space. Bet you didn't think of that one. Sell me. We have eight bucks, that's great. Please add a good card. I would add a I would add a wild, even though it might not be necessary. And then give me a Jupiter. You've given me, oh, but I have to use it immediately. That's okay, that's okay, I'm not crying. Next round. Look at this, brother. <laughs> Holy. All right, I mean, the, the great thing is that the run is on autopilot as far as like our score goes for now, unless things go like horribly wrong. Me personally, why don't we fish for like a, a flush five? Not flush five, sorry. A flush house. Is there a king of clubs left in this? There's not. Well, I'll be, wait, there is because it's a king of spades. <laughs> okay, you know what? Play this little, this little lad right here. No, we should just be playing flushes, man. Don't don't get cute with it. There's no reason for the cuteness. 
I thought I'd played four cards there and I was about to throw my PC into the dishwasher. My mistake. This round, we have to get the Joker that replaces popcorn. All cards are considered face cards. 50 chips if you got a pair. I mean, we don't have any other like face card enablers. We can sell these for nine bucks. The voucher is good, but the problem is like when you get planets in a pack, you have to use them right away. I'm buying packs. We're never going to play that. We have to go wild because we're never going to play a diamond. I think we still need it because we want the packs to have Jupiter so we scale because we didn't have a chance to get a Joker there. Free Mega Celestial? Our most played hand is flush. I think we need this. Skip blinds. Use Jupiter. What else do we freaking play, bro? At some point, maybe we'll play a straight flush. There's drops of Jupiter in her hair. Jerry! I know what you're saying. In her hair, Jerry! It would be very nice <clears throat> if we could touch my body. I know not everybody has a body like me. And if you something, something, I don't know the words, but sometimes it comes on in the grocery store. You know what I'm talking about? Wham. Okay, this is, this is our, this is our pivot. It's a sell, sell, hold Wheel of Fortune in hand. And a buy. And then a, a standard. We have to add. We have, and it has to be a spade. I'm sorry to do it. I'll add another wild. Can I, can I get some freaking, like, some more purple seals, bro? 50 chips if you got a pair. We go next. Decrease played level of poker hand. That's bad, but we gotta we gotta go, brother. Now, if anything, we should use this one and dupe the other one. That's fine. That's fine. Not unexpected. Please win in two hands. In that case, wait a minute. Let me take a look at this. We don't have that many upgraded hands. Or upgraded cards. Because I was thinking the, the ideal circumstance would be that you get all of your upgraded cards as soon as possible. I mean, we're never going to need this cards. It's just that simple. Maybe even like fish for a straight flush, bro, while you're here. We're never going to need this cards to make a flush. 9, 10, jack, queen, king. There you go. Now you got a straight flush. It'll lower a worse hand. Well, like a better hand, but one we play less often. Another straight flush is, is plausible. Did not receive, but that's okay. We're thinking, right? We're, you missed a royal flush? Okay, Johnny Chan, everyone's a critic. Play your face cards. There you go. <clears throat> We're alive. Okay, and we get a free wheel every single time. No, starting next time. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need a joker, bro. Like, here's... like. tough it's a tough world we live in we have to add cards 
I don't want to mess up my flushness. Enhance a card into a steel card. I dare not risk not doubling the wheel. So I think we do this because we get a free wheel every single time. Then run it. Oh! <laughs> 50 chips, bro. That's not even that good. What a scam. Royal straight. <laughs> it's something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know it's something, okay? We all know it's something. Royal flush, do you believe in something beautiful? Then get out and be it. We'll take those. How about a regular flush? We, no, number one thing we actually need, I mean, we need our econ to get off the ground here. Secondarily, if we could get some freaking... In, if we can enhance more cards and then also buy... Oh, wow! Wow! <laughs> you were right. This is the place. This is the first time I've ever seen it, bro. Times three molt. One in a thousand chances destroyed at the end of a round. You mad genius. Local thunk. That's so great for uh, clip farming. <laughs> I can't wait. Something cannot be wild and bonus. I've learned this now. So let's let's bonus up some cards. We're gonna need them. Infinite money glitch? No, 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 man. We got negative wheel of fortune. We run it, bro. Game's not called money. It's called wheel. Free mega standard. I'd rather have the one in five shot. So all right, we go again next time. I'm not even gonna cry about it because we go again next time. You might just want to play flushes with bonus cards when you get them right now. And we definitely want to buy planet packs as well. Oh! <laughs> One in five NL. So true. Dave Grohl trying to figure out how to write the hook for Monkey Wrench. One in seven. No, stupid! One in twelve? A time traveler opens up a door that previously didn't exist. Hey Dave, try one in ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's it. Germ a bit? I refuse to believe that. Extra large blind? That's fine. I mean, you gotta go. Let's, why, would, why would I dump you? Why would I dump? Because we need better cards. Yeah, okay, fair enough. This gives us a tarot card. The tarot card is the chariot. That's huge. Create a Steel Andrew. Play your bonus chippies. Good hand. Bonus cards must be played. This is not a bonus card, but it does leave us with a Steel card in hand, which is pretty good. We made it. We're, ma we're making it. $13. Listen, we need more planet scaling. Is there anything else we even play? Maybe straight flush one of these days? Imagine the clip where the banana breaks. I know. Led Zeppelin be like, we buy this so that we can then enhance it into a steel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Two molt cards? I would love to have two molt cards. Thank you for asking. But first, or we could, you know, no, 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 no. Here's what you do, brother. You turn into a freaking steel Andrew, and then we'll just turn a spade into another steel Andrew. Steel is how we're going to scale as the game goes longer and longer. We're due next time. I'm not even worried. Empress, beautiful card. This purple seal is doing amazing work for me and for mine. Then why not dupe Chariot instead? Okay, why not fucking buy VTSAX instead of lottery tickets, bro? Because we're trying to get some dopamine in this crazy mixed up world. 
Hello, NL. How goes the Balatro? Local thunk, you piece. I'm just joking. Congratulations on making a great game. Did you stealth patch it to make it harder this weekend? Hey, hey, where are you going? Did you stealth patch it this weekend to make it harder? I know you altered some probabilities, which I think was good, but did you also release like a patch that made it a little bit more difficult? Be honest. Be honest. We're all members of the free and open source software community here. Oppie, did you or did you not alter the drop tables for Royal Flushes? I mean, Arrowhead is like kind of good, but it's hard to like replace. Actually, we're, are, we, are we chilling on chips? Could use negative jokers. Um, I'm thinking you freaking built some interest, bro. Angry raid? <laughs> is it an angry raid? Or is that what Local Thunk said? I never know. Dan raid messages have become indistinguishable from MSN messenger emoji text chat from 2003. It's what Local Thunk said. I freaking knew it. Saw Apollo put up Avogadro's number. And you said, we got to make this harder. It's getting too easy out there. Oh, legendary Perkio dipped in Mama Liz's chili oil. British TikTok food tuber be like mushy peas seasoned with salt. It would be tasty though. I mean, I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> Made it all worthwhile. <laughs> oh baby. I had some great fish and chips. I got kind of pissed off, okay? I took my daughter out for lunch yesterday. She always gets grilled cheese. I mix it up, but I've been getting the fish and chips a lot lately because they're pretty good at this place. She said, Daddy, I'm going to get the fish and chips too. I said, no problem. No sweat. She ordered kids fish and chips. It's like $10.99. Comes with a juice and the ice cream dessert. I ordered one piece of adults fish and chips. She was like $21.99. Came out. My fish was like 3% bigger than her fish. Now, I'm, are you, you could choose to see this in a negative way. And you could be like, they gave her a huge cut because they like us and they see us in there. Or you could say, what the hell? Next time, I'm just saying she's really hungry. Give me two kids fish and chips. <laughs> that was insane, man. She ate the whole freaking filet, too. I was like, you really going to keep eating? I thought I was going to take like half of it. At some point, honestly, it's going to be a controversial choice. But at some point, I think we don't need plus one hand size. We could replace it with a voucher. I think we have time first, and we can get our uh, we can get our economy fully popping first. Sucks we can't generate a tarot card here, but so be it. It's a nope build. It is, but it's also like a like a yes build. Holy. Hang on, I gotta see this. The only British food TikTok that matters is Bevo. Most British food TikToker name I could imagine. I love it. Because he doesn't chew, and one of these days he's going to heaven for trying to swallow a whole potato on a live stream. My man is struggling to gulp down a whole head of broccoli unchewed. It's like watching a train wreck. That's his thing, is that he doesn't chew. That is. You can literally do anything these days. You can literally add a stone card knowing that you're just going to discard it anyway. Give me the multi-boy with a golden seal as well. <laughs> his stomach getting food that was supposed to have like 80% of the digestion done for by his teeth, tongue, and salivary glands. Bro, what the hell, man? I can't get the kind of peristalsis going to break this shit down. It kicks the can down to the small intestine. Small intestine's like, okay, opens up an aperture that's like three centimeters wide. 
whole head of broccoli trying to squeeze its way through. Here we go again. What did I tell you, Celia? What did I tell you? You told us. What did I tell you? They always do this. They always do this. 29 bucks? No thanks. I'll take a Wheel of Fortune. Relax. I'll handle it. Next time, bro. Give me a heart, please. Um, this is insane, but give me a heart, please. We had enough hearts. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> what was I thinking there? I don't know. So the re-trigger kind of goes insane on like gold seal cards. I think like we, the thing is, at some point we got to dump this. We got to dump it for the right reasons, you know? I don't even think that this is that like plus 15 mo obvious. Well, I guess it clears this immediately. That's a good point. That, and it, it has future scaling potential. That's nice. I don't think we need seltzer right away. But then on the other... No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't overcomplicate it, okay? Don't overcomplicate it. Hollow Ace of Hearts. Blue Seal Gold Ace of Spades. You're, you're kind of crunching now. And then tarot cards are just good to begin with. It's crazy to me that you would not give me like death and have it copy an enhanced card, but maybe that's just a sign that we need more enhancements. We're so due. We are so due. <laughs> Keep your steals in hand. We're, we're building good habits, good foundationals. You're probably right. Like, it's probably better to duplicate steel and then get one steel card every single turn. Like, that would go insane. But that's kind of, like, boring. It's more fun to get, like, you know, a one in four chance and then you're like, Pog, 50 chips, which is probably irrelevant anyway. Yeah, we're fun maxing. I know, it's something a lot of people don't consider. Now, this is risky. Should I? I feel like I should use Wheel of Fortune. No, actually, the. So we could use Wheel of Fortune, then create another Wheel of Fortune. That literally just creates us, like, one more negative Wheel of Fortune Joker. Like, who cares? We need bonus cards so that we don't lose and then cry because we're like, no, we had the dream run. We had the dream run. What happens if you hit negative on the wheel? Well, it's not in the flavor text. So I think that um, Local Thunk probably patches the game immediately. No repeat hand types this round. Could be spooky. Um, but I also feel like one really good flush just gets us there anyway. And we could... Let me think about it for a second. Let's, let's throw the queen because it's a face card. And then this is a, a little multi-enabler. And then we'll see where we stand after this. We could always throw full houses, pairs, etc., etc. We don't need to. Good enough. <laughs> better cards appear more often very necessary now we, we start to think if the, if the boss blind is not going to cook us then uh, do we have a chance in endless Being able to generate more tarot cards is so good. Because the tarot cards are going to give us more steel than one steel card. Everyone's screaming steel, steel, steel. That's how I know we go purple. <laughs> Hook me up. I knew it. Polychrome hologram. Now we should be discarding... Keep the flush in hand. Because we want enhanced cards that can like generate tarot cards for us. 
you're gonna draw harder a wild. It's just science, bro. Like we want, we want. Well, now if we get purple seals, I guess we don't really care because we wouldn't have any, any discards remaining. But then Mama Liz's kick your ass oil. <laughs> So true. Yeah, I would say my ass could easily create two planet cards and then like sell them because we don't play anything but flushes and then use a spectral pack. Um, I'm just... Listen, listen, boys. Enhanced cards are good, but it could give us things that are not in hearts or spades, in which case we would be in a little bit of trouble. We go next. One random joker disabled every hand. Perhaps not ideal, but I think I missed the part where that's my problem. Mama Lizzie's Wheel of Fortune. Yeah! Polychrome banana, bro! Back to back. And then a good tarot card, like a steel tarot oh, two planet cards. I wouldn't say no. I guess I'll fucking sell your ass, honestly. I'm not that, not that impressed with you. You're not my favorite either. We do have a straight flush here. I would rather play uh, a golden seal. Personally, call me a California NHL team the way I'd rather play the golden seals because they were not very good, people. They were not very good. Did you see Dan is playing Balatro on PS5? I did. The man is full of... Uh, he's a unique guy. Let's put it that way. When I saw the, con the button prompts pop up, I was like, oh, he's playing on controller, huh? People were like, no, he's going for Plat Trophy on PS5. <laughs> sure, glass me up. More, more power to him, I'm just saying. I'm just surprised, I guess. Dude, I think we need to keep a Steel 3. But like, Steel plus Planet, even though it's unsuited, that's a pretty nice card. There's, there's a synergy there. One random Joker disabled. They've disabled my banana. We tried. Um, do I care? I mean, I care. How much do I care? Mm, not that much. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm a simple man. I'm not going to worry about, like, money maxing and planet maxing on this. Let's just play our flush right off the bat. Still good enough. And now you've disabled a little extra molt for me. Things I don't care about. Magician. A lucky card. Don't mind if I do. We'll probably... Tr I don't even know what we're going to try to play. Just why don't you go lucky, bro? I want to discard you so that we get more tarot cards. But I want to keep the queen, so I think we discard spades. And some hearts as well, apparently. Hey, doubling your money, that's pretty sick. Hmm. If possible, I would prefer not to play my glass queen until we need it. Pretty good. Alright, so that's the boss. Money's on sale every round. Yeah, but like... But Wheel of Fortune, bro. <laughs> Dump Wheel for Hermit? That's just 20 bucks, man. You gotta think a little bigger. We definitely, before we dump Wheel, we're gonna give Fortune Teller some kind of enhancement, and then, then there's no reason to really keep Wheel. Oh, I should, oh, we, we, we're saved. You can only go up to 20 bucks anyway. Quinn, use it. Add some stuff. Purple Seal can go crazy, even if it's unsuited. I'm willing to take a little bit of a risk. One extra hand. We go next. Okay. Fine, fine. This is, these are big money moves. I wouldn't expect you to understand them. I'd say anti-9, we're chilling. Anti-10, it might get a little tricky, but we can always sell plus one hand size for the Joker of the century. Steel's great, don't get me wrong, but Purple Seal could be anything. It could even give us a Steel card. 
This time though, steel suited card definitely being added to the deck. We go next round. It's close, man. It's close. <laughs> dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it, and dump it. It's just a trash card. We can fish for better. Oh, two free tarot cards? Don't mind if I do. Strength High Priestess. Increase the rank of a card. I'm doing this just for you. Just for you, Fortune Teller. I'm creating two planet cards. I'm selling them both. I'm doing my dark bidding. I'm discarding. And we are keeping spades. Sun. Convert three cards to hearts. I'm a simple kind of man. Guess what? That heart is now a heart. Huge. Huge play. I quit weed and now I'm not as funny. When you find out that Hi You was right and it really was the Zah. I understand what you're going through. I mean, I, I can sympathize. I've never been through it myself. But I can sympathize at least. An enhanced Andrew. A double triggering Andrew with Mama Liz's shit your pants oil. I don't think we care about a red seal on a heart with nothing else triggering off a heart. Steal, and then maybe we'll get a chance to convert it later. What do you got for me? So we only draw three cards off of a discard. You got to be careful with this. That's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> you only draw three cards. So we will only discard three cards. Jupiter gets used. Finally, bro. Finally. It's so due. <laughs> we do have spades. That way we can keep this to discard it later. Because we're only going to draw three cards off this. Now we'll probably get a flush off it. Regardless. But we definitely we want to discard this Andrew if we can. Get a Temperance. Which kind of goes crazy. Keep the steel, Andrew? Yes, I would. <clears throat> Simple 1.1 million point hand. Trust the plan? That's what I'm saying, man. Trust the plan. Minus one hand per round shouldn't be that catastrophic. This is a sack, I was gonna say a sack to the face. <laughs> We need, we need the scaling. It's just one extra discard. Lucky card. Could save you in a pinch. You never know. You go voucher pilled on this. Jupiter's huge. Okay, run, run me again, bro. Very important moment. One of these days. <laughs> one of these days. You're gone. Money's, money's nice, man. Let's dump these. Temperance. Money's nice. Money's on sale again. Two steel cards, two gold seal cards. Okay, this guy is gone as soon as soon as we get the right opportunity, man. Just need the right opportunity. Buy and hold Jupiter. Now, listen. You shut your mouth, okay? Until Wheel of Fortune hits on this tarot, you shut your mouth. Your boring plays have no merit here. We're content maxing. Wait a second, though. <laughs> what about the Emperor? And then every round it creates an Emperor that creates two tarot cards, which creates Wheels of Fortune, which creates Fools, which creates... And it's going to hit anyway, so we don't even... Oh, you local thunk, you hot fixin' son of a gun. Buy me, roll me. That's pretty big. Okay, honestly, you got to go. You got to stay. We go next. We might as... It, it's just cooler to see the negative in here. I guess it gives us the more space, too. A 
wild on an unsuited card would be nice. Honestly, I know this plays a steel card, but just just relax, everybody. Listen, we we got a lot of stuff. This is a take care of the pounds and the pennies take care of themselves sort of situation. Oh, you're right. This should be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sensible, sensible. I'm not fucking around with obelisk at this stage of my life. That's just not going to happen. We should have used our. Well, we didn't have anything to. I guess you could always use your lover's card, even on something garbage, but. We we'll have to sell it so it doesn't copy Emperor. Life goes on. Nah, we sleep on that. Sell me. Next me. Cards drawn face down after each hand. I missed the part where that's my problem. You may become a wild card. Although I'm going to be discarding you almost exclusively. No, no, and then, and then, what, three becomes four. Discard, 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 discard. I don't really want to destroy two selected cards, unless we have, a, we have an imbalance, if we could destroy two spades. <laughs> I don't know, but... I'm sorry, to, it's an enhance, we gotta destroy a basic two, just to... Crank this lad. Oh, we could have just... Ah, then, yeah, you're right. The nine was, like, literally a better choice. Not to mention I destroyed my, my flush, and now I got to use another discard. That's all right. We straight chilling. Lots of bonus cards. Lots of multi. Lots of multi. It's a simple 4.6 million point hand. Do you know you can destroy two cards with that card? Do you know that every card is my child? Redeem me. I hate to be adding clubs. I love to be adding molts, though. I don't really, I don't really want any stone. I, don't, I, I can't really, like, there's no... Okay, just, just send me next, then. One million... Okay, we're, we're getting there. <clears throat> Full stone deck. Does five stones make a flush? Honestly, your ass is gone. I just can't afford to have you... I'm already messing with my flushes. I can't afford to mess with them any further. Stones on the table. <laughs> oh, that's right, because stones still have a suit. It's just like it's hidden from you. You should spend your money. You feeling like a genius spending uh, 27 gold per reroll when you don't have anything you're actually looking for just so that someone on the internet doesn't make fun of you for like inefficient financial engineering? Come on, buddy. Are you crazy? I just walked over here. Fifty molt on this, Andrew. Pretty good. Molt cards, pretty good. I don't even know what we're looking for at this point, to be honest. They say he's the smartest person to ever do it. Jupiter me. If we get Jupiter, I honestly, at this stage of my life, I could be persuaded to, to sell Emperor and run Jupiter instead. I'm not saying I would, I'm saying I could be persuaded. Oh, thank you. Oh, dude, you're right. The, the voucher that molts your planets, and then you get three Jupiters. Right, you get every round, you get one more Jupiter, and it gives you times 1.5 every single freaking time. Oh, dude, you're absolutely right. That would that would be the voucher of all time. Honestly, more tarot cards, the merrier tarot cards, bro. They've been very helpful for us. 
Okay, only one hand. This has semi-high fuck-it-up potential. So just, like, chill yourself a little bit, okay? Slow your roll. That was a pretty good turn. <laughs> it's a sell. And unless I could turn a stone, no, I'll sell it. This is I started feeling myself get too greedy. And I said, just simmer, brother. Just simmer. There's no need for all of that. That's a flush. Just in case. Glass him up. This will also create a planet for us. How about the lucky card? This run hasn't been that lucky. It would have been nice. Saturn. Come early game plus on discard for a round. You're right. I could have fooled a packed Jupiter. You're right. I mean, I, I want to say you're wrong because it would make me feel better about my play, but we got to think about how to engineer a Jupiter in hand instead of like something that we use. Like a fool card here could have done it. Lucky hearts, double money, diamonds, glass. We're gonna need some. We're gonna need some glass at some point, bro. We're gonna need some glass. Things are getting a little hot. Twenty-six million. Dad ass. I think we can get that. I think. I think we clear twenty-six million. After that, things will be tough. <laughs> Okay, guess what, buddy? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> it's exactly what we were waiting for, bro! It was. It was. B bonus me, bro. Bonus me. While you're here, you might as well bonus me. Please put a Jupiter in my hand. That would change everything. Oh, we didn't win yet. Okay, please put a Jupiter in my hand. Penis. It's all right. Negative Joker would go crazy too. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. You're right. It might be a good position to reroll for Jupiter. You may be right. You may be right. I may be crazy. We need that. We, we wish to add cards. The re-trigger is not like that exciting, but nah, man. Nah. I mean, well, <laughs> no, no, no. It's gotta. It's gotta be Joker. Oh my god. You guys want some cookies? You buy the fool, use it, it creates a Jupiter in your hand. You use the Emperor. You, I mean, you had to get rid of it, so you sell these two so that Jupiter definitely gets copied and you go next. Is that a Corky Romano reference? You know it, brother. This dank ass card. Better cards await us. 21 bucks for free. Don't mind if I do. Could fish for some more enhanced Andrews, or we could just be goaded and get uh, the lucky eight to give us plus 20 malt next time. I see we've got some enhancements. Let's let the enhancements fly. It is it's getting it's getting a little tight. We're definitely gonna beat 19 million. Unless I misplay like a hand, which has been known to happen before. But it's, it's certainly no walk in the park. I don't want my uh, glass queen to break. I played four cards. <laughs> I killed my run! Never mind, no, I'm straight chilling. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> oh, imagine. Well, I mean, we're probably going to lose, like, uh, in two rounds anyway, but... 
Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. YouTube comments would have lost their mind. The average YouTube viewer, after having it absentmindedly on the second monitor for 75 minutes, paying no attention to it, but then seeing one mistake at the very end. How could you possibly do this? I don't even know, like... What, what am... I'm, I'm rolling because we roll. I don't even know what I'm looking for. It's not that. Like, you're... you're important to me for long-term scaling. You're too good to get rid of. You're too good to get rid of. You're really good. I mean, you're, you are giving us 76 malt. <laughs> I'll give you one, I'll give you two more. Okay, we go next. Play only one hand type this round. We can get there. What long-term scaling is left? At least one joker every time more more uh, steel cards in hand like there's there's still tech bro don't get it twisted i think now we have to commit to making flushes with better jokers though another steel card very important let's see be nice if this was nine million Pretty good, pretty good. We have to play a spade flush that doesn't use our steel cards. We needed that one. Nine, eight, five, four, three, eight at the end. Come on, England. Rip, rip, 07, GG. Guys, it's very simple. You just have to learn to multiply two four-digit numbers by each other, okay? It's not that complicated. Kids all over the world are learning this in the fifth grade. Now, Anti-12 is going to cook us. There's just no way out. Especially, mouth giving us clubs is unfortunately not what we need. It's a nice Andrew. Did you see Liverpool's under-21 squad cook Chelsea's yesterday? Yep. Yeah, I was watching that. A lot of people would say, really? You were wa watching a youth football game that starts at uh, 4 a.m. your time? Yeah, yeah. Even though you've never talked about soccer before? Yeah, it's my... I love it. Youth soccer specifically. Like, I just find it hits that much harder when you don't know who any of the players are. It's a cup final, not a youth match. If none of the players are older than me, it's a youth match. Brother, I hate to, I hate to say it, he's gotta go. He's gotta go. He's not negative. He gives us negative stuff. He did what he could. The only chance for us is to is to yeet him for something else. And I appreciate what he's done, by the way. I, he, he kept us in this, bro. Obviously, this isn't what we want. First played face card doubles your molt. That's not what we want. I guess we could just hold cards now. Ramen is a times two mult. I guess we could we could use ramen until it falls off. I mean, we're probably don't we have to get three hundred million on this hand? <laughs> oh, five hundred and forty million. My mistake. Hmm. Um, delightful. I guess we might as well. You should have skipped it. <laughs> <laughs> Me kicking the problems a little bit further down the road. 
No wild boys, huh? Well, well, yeah. Sorry to do that to you, Ramen, but something has to give. Hard to imagine this working, but... Still, anti-12, bro. We're pogging. The head is soaring, as they say. How about a tarot card that completely changes our life? I know what I must do. Give me some spades. Yay! Get two steals in hand. Convert this lad to another steal. It's our only shot. And then the lucky, bro. The lucky, the lucky. How could you? That's still a 34 million point hand, man. I can't really cry about it. <laughs> This you should probably keep your steel cards, huh? But what when your whole when your whole shit is steel, what are you supposed to do, bro? That's the ticket right there. High card ace with five steel cards in hand. No. High card stone with six seal cards in hand, dipped in Mama Liz's eat my ass oil. Still pretty good, though. We'll slash marker that. I do have to leave at noon today. Let's run the next one back ASAP, okay? That was a great run. I had a great time. We won green stake. We got uh, probably tied our high score because that's where I always lose on endless runs. Yay. Painted deck. Plus two hand size. Minus one joker slot. Why not, brother? Why not? Let's, let's let it fly. That's a skip. That's a skip. Free rare Joker incoming, bro. Now, if you'll forgive me. Wait, what are we? Our hand size is freaking huge. We have one less Joker slot. Hand size is, is not to be trifled with, though. This is, this is great, like, straight potential. It's great uh, hard hand potential. Is this a joke to you? Like... All I can assume is that this must be a joke to you. That Now we're talking. 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. And how about you? Just to say sorry, why don't you give me another one? Can I say something that might appear to you to be insane? I almost think I'm drawing too many cards to know what to play. <laughs> oh, we made it! Okay, rare Joker incoming. Obelisk. Early Obelisk, kind of crazy. We, we will need a Joker to back us up a little bit. Second flush build? I don't know yet, okay? What I will say is we're going to be playing lots of high cards for now. Let's let him fly. We do need like a base score joker though. Reroll boss blind, must play five cards. This is like the least valuable boss blind. What do we care? So flush me right off the bat. No, we need to build. We need, we need score. We need score. We need score. We need score. Then we need a flat joker. <clears throat> Trust me, I know it seems a little like it's a little cooked, but I have something in the hopper for this one. Full house is the easiest setup. We get a three, four, five, six, seven. 
We get any joker that gives us score. That allows us to then be free to play high cards 40 times so that then we can play whatever we want underneath it and still get the value out of uh, the obelisk later. So misprint should give us a good chance. And then we just go and, and we're basically treating these as discards. So like we can still fish for good hands while we're tossing high cards out there. Now, we are relying a little bit on um, on the uh, on the misprint not to screw us, but check this action out. Wouldn't expect that. Huge, huge tech. We get a Jupiter, we play it. I don't think I want to destroy anything. I don't know if I want to level up Pluto though, bro. Is that... <laughs> I don't know. You know, for now, we're, we're going to be playing a decent amount of high cards early. Give it a chance, okay? Give it a chance. Need 1,600 points. Most important thing I would say here is... You know, you can mess around, you can have some fun, but don't mess around too much. That's not allowed. You can only play, um, you can only play five cards, that's my mistake. <clears throat> I would consider that messing around, I suppose. Okay, let's just get out of this one. Two kings, two aces. Okay, dump it, how many eights? Three eights left, dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it. You gotta draw something, how many threes? One, three, you gotta give us something. Editor's note, they had to give us something. Gross Michelle. We go next. This is it's actually like so scary. Stop drawing pairs, you piece of crap. Like I, I need you to play high cards. Let me look at this for a second. So we played six high cards. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the guy for this one, man. New deck that I've never seen before. And then on top of that, they said, guess what, buddy? Get ready to learn how to use the obelisk as your first joker. Straight is 30 times 4. Full house is 40 times 4. But a straight is a hand we haven't played before. Come on, Miss Print. Easy mode. Relax, I'll handle it. <laughs> yes! They have just brought us back. Popcorn means we can do whatever we want. And Vagabond means free tarot cards as the day is long. We have to compete though. Squam do dee do dee do. You play this. We might actually win too fast. Okay, let's not go crazy. I see the straight flush there. Don't worry about that, that lad. I see the straight flush. We're just creating more tarot cards. You never they could come very much in handy. I guess we are kind of rooting for flushes, right? That's not the right card. I'm just gonna use two of them here. Wheel of Fortune Star, convert three more cards to diamonds. Why does he keep playing high card, not pumping the obelisk? Chat, could somebody explain for this new viewer what we're doing here? And now that's insulting, yes I know. No? All right. Sorry, you're going to have to figure it out for yourself. I didn't want to win that fast. I wanted to play my straight flush. Honestly? We're... Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot. You need an emote for yep, then people would be nicer. You know what? That's probably true. 
Did you see the tweet about the the father playing um, peekaboo with his son, but his son is a a denier of the great man theory of history? So the father says, "Where did I go?" And then the the baby says, "Systemic forces have resulted in the disappearance of our father." And then when he says, "Here I am," they go like. Long tail consequences have resulted in a resurgence of my father. How did you, you I mean, you're a great Googler. One of the great Googlers of our time, without a doubt. No, I'm not on Twitter. Honestly, in a way, I know it sounds crazy, but in a way you're kind of missing out. Nobody's putting juice like that on Blue Sky. They're all posting, here's my sandwich, by the way. Here's a link to my GoFundMe. On Twitter, that's where the real psychos hang out. I'm not supporting Elon. Bro, go to Twitter and call him a crazy person. You could do it to his face. Honestly, here's the deal, though. If you don't want to be on Twitter, we don't want you there either. And that's fair. It's, I'm not being. I'm not trying to insult you by saying it. I'm just saying. Oh, now I got to spend all my freaking money, though. I guess we we'll buy a voucher. <laughs> it's okay. All the advertisers pulled out anyway. You know what? That's true. That's pretty true. <laughs> Let me take a, a peek at this. 11 high cards, we need more. I don't want to play pairs. This deck draws too many pairs, bro. Tell you what, we know diamonds are gonna be the sauce that stirs the drink. Nine, seven, five, four, two. Destroy these useless cards. Play the flush of all time and give me a new tarot card. This is actually like a freaking, this is such a slow build. Unless I lose on this hand. <laughs> oh man, but I'm not gonna, so don't even worry about it too much. Look at this, holy. Hmm, what did I want to do? I wanted to make a flush. I wanted to make a flush. Bye. I still wish to make a flush. Flush house? I'm not this sort of guy. I made it. I got the Joker where every card is a face card, and then I got the boss where all face cards are debuffed. Yeah, that's, um,. Basically, local thunk said, F you. Skill issue. <laughs> you could just sell the Joker, that's true. Flush house is a bathroom. There's something to be said about that for sure. Something to be said about that. Whatever. It's worth a try. I was hoping for diamonds, but it's worth a try. Now we'll convert you laddies. We could do better. Play, no, 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 don't play that, play this. Magician, lucky cards. Lucky ace goes crazy. I forgot what I was saying. Something about a flush house. And then I was gonna say, it reminds me I've been using the same joke on my daughter ever since I saw it on the back of a Happy Meal box. I don't know if you're ready for this one, chat. What kind of key opens a banana? <laughs> a monkey. Son of a bitch. How did you... Did you go to McDonald's last week? I don't know how often they cycle the jokes. I guess we should look for, for better. My dad owns McDonald's. Okay, Ray Kroc Jr., singer of Ghostbusters, mother of dragons. Don't kill me. <laughs> I 
Yo, popcorn. If I can chill, bro. <laughs> You could say it's a key and peel. Yeah, we don't do that here. That's Reddit is that way, okay? Reddit is that way. Straight flush, we'll use. Oh, I thought it was good. You have to stop the puns when they're good. If you stop them when they get bad, it's too late. There will always be one dude who's like jumping in. It's like a sad story. Uh, Bus full of sick children gets hit by train and obliterated. Top comment? Yeah, this tracks. Oh my god, I'm so going to hell for this. Oh, lol, but I can't stand. And then like eight comments down. My wife left me. Anybody got any advice for me? Some 15-year-old kid from Omaha? Yeah, bro, you gotta delete Facebook. Like, it's just, you gotta... You gotta nip it in the bud is what I'm saying. You, you have a responsibility. To fix the culture. It is your problem. Okay. Me when my joker is smeared. You're going wild, bro. I mean, if we're going... We are kind of flush-pilled right now. Let me see. Is this where we make the obelisk turn? I don't think we could do it yet. I don't think we could do it yet. I want to do it. I don't think we could do it yet. On the other hand, we kind of have to do it. Wow. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? I don't even know what these are! Heart flush. Okay, just give it a chance because this is the boss. We'll just get through this one. Ah! What? Okay, What if you raise the rank on this and it's a king, does it flip over and become an ace? You'll see it? That'd be fucking sick, bro, if it worked like that. Game speed was too high. I couldn't see what the fuck it was, man. Why we should be looking for straight flushes. In this in this unique situation, we should be looking for straight flushes. Three, four, five, six, seven. Straight flush has a much higher molt. Fuck you, I can't afford to be making enemies. Call me Brooke Burke the way we go on wild on. That was a, a lucky card saved our life, okay. Now we can afford to fuck around with the obelisk again. Can we? <laughs> I don't know, man. Only a steel card can be a lover. You're right. You're right. I have no choice. Two spectrals could change our lives. Rare joker set money to zero. Misprints? <laughs> Dude, we need jokers that add molt though. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tarot cards are so valuable, but oh, but then it's three bucks. I'm losing my three bucks, man. If your poker hand is a straight flush, create a spectral card. So you're saying there's a chance. You know what? Oh, just orange. Okay, now you already know I'm only playing straight flushes. Maybe I'll, uh, it's an opportunity for us to throw out like a four of a kind real quick. Dump it. You're wild. You suck ass. Bro, what the fuck? Give me a straight flush. I don't want a freaking liter of cola. Give me, give me a, a royal flush. Destroy a random card in your hand. Add two enhanced aces. Wouldn't, wouldn't disagree with it. Wouldn't say no to it necessarily.
I feel like that got rid of some garbage. Source dude, just trust me. I'm probably not going to double my money in this situation. <laughs> probably convert three more. No, 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 we should convert you. Convert you to diamonds. You ever kick someone out of bed for eating crackers? I used to hear a joke about that on the radio all the time. It was one of those rock radio stations that was like, we're better than other radio stations. Because they used to run ads that were like, you'll never hear Britney Spears on this radio station, but we wouldn't kick her out of bed for eating crackers. And as a kid, I was like, that owns. That's really funny. Now that I'm older, I'm like, she didn't do anything to you, bro. Like, what's, the, what's your problem? She was literally just like chilling, doing her own thing. What they say fuck me for, you know? Also, as a kid, I ate a lot of food in bed. So I was like, why would you kick her out of bed for that? That's something like normal people do. It's only now as an adult that I'm like, no, that's not okay. <laughs> dump it, dump it, dump it. Hold it. Rather. Never mind, we're straight chilling. Royal flush me. I don't know if we can play the Ankh, man. I, mean, I guess if you wanted to go insane, you could <laughs> you could sell everything and and copy seance to create double spectral cards. Listen, listen, people. We'll have no score. We we literally won't be able to beat the boss. It can't be done. I, I'm not even gonna do it as a joke. It it like actually can't be done. Add a blue seal to a selected cord. We want to be playing straight flushes. I'm sorry, this is just a cell. Six, seven, eight is great. We'll do this super dump here on the cards we don't even know. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten gives us a spectral card. Could be a jack, but we don't know. We have like eight, nine, ten. We have eight, eight, nine, ten. Queen, queen. Oh, screw you, buddy. <laughs> Where do you get off? Oh, dump it. That's rude. Seven, eight, nine, ten. King, king, queen. Old King Cole was a merry old soul. What a merry old soul was he? With his fucking pipe and his fucking... He had like a bowl or something. I think we need you to be polychrome. And then go to the end. I guess it, I thought you were going to multiply because you're not polychrome, you're hollow. It's still good. Still good, don't get me wrong. Oh, we should have added a freaking why were we not using a blue seal, bro? Hmm, I'll tell you what. How many straight flushes have we played? Only five? Obelisk is gonna fall off. <laughs> but if we just if we make it to anti-8, I'll be straight chilling. More more tarot cards, please. Here's a crazy play. Dump this absolutely beautiful hand to get straight flushes. Okay, we have ace, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, jack, queen. Like what, it, dude, 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 what do you, what do you discard here? What do you discard? There's, there's 27 hands we could, how could you do this to me, man? Ace, two, 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 ace, ace, two, two, fuck you, brother. Three of a kind flush. Ace, two, two, three, three, four, four, five of the wrong suit. Have you lost your mind? 
I don't want to play straight Dookie on you. All right, you're honestly, I, but I need a straight, I need a straight flush. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It has to be done. I need a max win, bro. Killed my freaking molt. Worth. Worth? Immolate. Destroyed. That wasn't even good. Is this a joke to you? <laughs> well, I don't really want to destroy five random cards in hand just yet. Just give me a second here. It's because I cooked my obelisk for sure. I shouldn't have tried so much for the obelisk. Okay, uh, we, we got time for the fastest run of all time. But you have to give me 30 seconds to go to the bathroom. I'm not even throwing a slide. Balatro speedrun incoming. 24 minute Balatro speedrun. Plus two hand, minus one joker slot. Skip me, skip me. Bro, why don't we just strip uh, 20, uh, strip? Why don't we just skip 27 blinds in a row? YouTube algorithm be like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you said the word wrong. I'm gonna keep it a buck 50 with you. With this deck, there's no reason to play three of a kind. When we could instead fish for four of a kind. What did I tell you? 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 I need a max win. Thanks a lot. Well, <laughs> two common jokers, pair and straight. Okay. Sounds like me and my wife. <laughs> it does, people. It does. It does. Oh, man. True. Me when I'm truing. Discard me. How about a good hand? I know it's a novel idea. You know what? You got a little straight here. Nothing wrong with that. What are we gonna do? Uh, uh, how about a? Uh, 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 I need a max win. How about a flat multi joker at some point? A flat multi joker. Let us discard. The game made the choice for us. I mean, we're not playing nine to five, okay? It turns out we're playing nine to five. I didn't. I didn't think we were going Dolly Pardon mode. Sometimes you got to. Honestly, here's the thing. I've never been a coward. Take one of those and call me in the morning. Oh, we won? <laughs> we go again. Skip me. We probably need some help on this next one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's the name of the of the man in um 9 to 5. 
The actor has a name, and the name is very distinctive. It's like Walton Bigglesworth or something like that. Dabney Coleman! It is Dabney Coleman! Thank you. You were all hitting me with question marks, but now that you know his name is Dabney Coleman, you're like, you know what? He, he was telling no lies when he said that stuff about Walton Bigglesworth. Are we cooked, guys? Be honest with me. I don't really want to play two pair. Especially when I need a max win. That's not going to help. Okay, we go again. That's all right. You know what? Don't do we have the the anaglyph? Anna, we don't have the anaglyph. Okay, if we're going speed run, it's that simple. Green deck. Green jacket, gold jacket, telescope voucher, minus one consumable slot. Give me five dollars for free. Fastest run of all time. Start. Start right now. Two pair. This deck's no good. Mm, you ever consider that maybe uh, you're no good? You ever consider that? You ever consider that I was I just got 80% of a royal flush immediately? You ever consider that I just won? You ever consider that we need a joker immediately? This is what addiction looks like. <laughs> Look, we can never die. Did you see the um, the post on the Balatro subreddit from the guy who said he used to be addicted to gambling? So he was concerned that Balatro would re-trigger it, but instead, it's actually been a lot of fun and it helps distract him from real gambling. Local Thunk is out here actually like saving people's lives. Okay, it's very simple. Speed, every speed run starts with restarting the run halfway through. That's a gimme. Oh, by the way, you know how I play this game, right? The first Joker I get becomes the theme of the run every single time. We got a Joker that makes spades better. We're playing flush only. <laughs> it's the way of the world. We're going spectral pack and converting everything to flushes. Negative to a random Joker? I don't think that's going to be as relevant as... um making every card a queen. G idle be like, wait a minute, my hand is so freaking small, bro. Me trying to palm a basketball in ninth grade and getting laughed off the court. They never said that. Um, they said, I'm a queen card, I'm a queen card, take a photo. It's like you think I don't have sources for the things that I say. I do have sources for the things that I say. It's the song Queen Card. Get the Queen Joker. I'm afraid that that's not conducive with a speed run. I wish it were. It would make my life a lot easier if it were. Unfortunately, it's not. Hmm. Give me two more tarot cards. Next base edition shop, Joker becomes negative. I'll be honest with you, this is a double skip. This is a double skip. I hate them all. I hate every single one of them. All face cards are drawn face down. All face cards are drawn face down. How interesting, how interesting. How happy is the blameless vessel's lot? The world forgetting by the world freaking forgot. I... There's no, there's no spades in there. Ooh. Guys, we're gonna make it. I 
I told you, I told you. And look at that, a rare negative mouth joker that makes diamonds better. I mean, there's no shot we're not buying that. That's a gimme. Probably should have doubled my money first. Hey, that's a speed run. <laughs> diamonds are better. Diamonds, diamonds are better. Okay. It switches every time. Yeah, I know. What what suit is better right now? Diamonds, diamond. And what did I say? Just checking, because we got a lot of little things to tinker with. Okay, I just thought people are out here throwing gravel on the on the velodrome when you're trying to get your wattage up to like zone nine. Everyone, we're all happy. You know that it changes every single time. Okay, everyone, just relax a little bit. You double my money. Spades give plus four molt. They're having a spades and diamond off. They're having a suit off. Plus one hand size would actually go insane. Plus, I'm never going to die. So get out of here. We go again. Diamonds. Diamonds and spades. Sorry, queens. Sorry, kitten. Daddy's got to work tonight. What's the highest stake you've done? I actually don't know. Um, I, I did the third stake on one deck at the start of this video. Dude, that, that could go huge. At the start of the stream, I should say. I've done green, yeah. One in seven cards get drawn face down. What do you want? You want diamonds? Do you want diamonds again, bro? I guess round. Right, round, round and anti are two different things. Okay, we got 14 minutes here. Sort by suit. All right, I'm going to do that right after I turn on high contrast cards. I don't even think it's worth playing these, man. Get them out of my face. One discard remains. This is a cool Joker's thesis. It's that easy. I think I'm cooked. <laughs> Suit me? Well, there's only one thing that can save you. It's got to be this. No! Yes! Send it. We're straight chilling, bro. Seven of seven. Throw me back. What do you want now? Hearts? Hearts and spades go insane. Didn't even get rid of the club. You know why? You never know when you might need the club. Thanos should have been at the club. Wouldn't have wasted all his time looking for that stupid glove. Oh, did I win? <laughs> why am I why am I competing, bro? Don't compete. Just just skip the blinds. I'd skip this one if I could. Hmm. Five of a kind? Hmm, I suppose. How prosaic. The speed run is on. What do you like now? Spades? The things you love to see? Skip me? Skip me? Spades are debuffed. <laughs> ah! You know what's not debuffed? Five of a kind. That shit don't ever go out of style. I'm in trouble. This is the way. Well, I don't think it's going to do it, but 
It is nice to see. Come, come on, England! Come on, England! That wasn't even in the ballpark. Okay, we have 11 minutes. That's going to be even harder. Skip me. Skip me, play me. Bro's addicted. I got to finish my shift, bro. Come on. Come on, just give me a full house. Just wait, wait can, I, can I just draw this time? You know what? You don't give me what I need. That's simple. I don't give you what you need. We're going to go back. We're going blue deck, red stake. Now that's a skip if I've ever seen one. It's that simple. Two bonus aces. And then make another ace bonus. Then skip me and draw these aces, bro. It's very simple. Draw a king. Somebody up there likes me. This is the speed run. <clears throat> the speed run is on. It's going to happen. All we need to do is we're about to get 15 free dollars. You buy the best joker of all time. Are you kidding me? None jokers? Okay, fine. Fine, bro. We go again. We go anti-10 again. And we save our money. You're going to double tag me and give me two foil jokers? Don't mind if I do? Basically, you're cooked. Basically... You're done. Okay, we go again. Is this run pogged? Well, listen, buddy. We have no jokers. What would you what do you think the pogificity is going? One free reroll per shop. Would you look at that though? That's not so bad. Whatever happened to the the Fine Brothers after all that React stuff? It's actually a really tragic story. Um, they got too old. This is all true. They got too old. And then the kids had to start showing them stuff. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's actually like, it's a cautionary tale. Plus two, the joke didn't even make any sense. Rare joker me? I was floundering. You either die the reactor or live long enough to find yourself becoming the reactee. I believe is, uh, is what people say. We're used to that here. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what happened to them. Anyway. Well, you know, it it happens, I guess. So are they running for office soon or what? Um, it's true, we did used to be a proper country. People used to, they used to react. They used to react to things. Not just the, the adults, the kids used to react too, and the seniors. What? <clears throat> Slash marker Balatro. That not not my best uh, performances at the end there. Hey, Brohemian Trapsody, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Is this the real life or is this just fantasy? <laughs> you need a little bit more time. It turns out eleven minutes is not a good enough amount of time for a, an adequate Balatro run. Isaac Dull. <clears throat> Coworker brought up his Peloton today, asked him how many watts he's pushing, and he loved it. People who do things love to talk about those things. People who don't do anything love to say, oh, really? You're talking about that thing again? Warning, it's very loud. Is it Isaac Dole dot Vercel.app? I 
Isaac Cole. Isaac Cole. Isaacle.net. <laughs> okay. It doesn't seem that loud. I'm just waiting for it to go. Bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Guess today's Isaac item. Mute the site immediately. No shop, bro. It's so loud. Search for an item. Magic mushroom. Mm. <laughs> that is really funny. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, it's a passive. It's always unlocked. And it is either red or white. Okay. Um, I'm cooked, guys. It wasn't part of Rebirth, though. Uh, uh, it wasn't part of Rebirth. Uh, 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 magic... Scab. Ah. <laughs> it's quality too. That's another rebirth item. My mistake. It's okay. It's a white item that's always unlocked. Um. Uh. Egg. I'm cooked, guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this. <laughs> I'm sorry. It doesn't heal you or give you HP or luck. It's been, it's been a long time, boys. Mystery ah. egg? They don't like it. They don't like the mystery egg. That's pink. It's not an Afterbirth Plus, Andrew. How about um, Tammy's head? Ah. Devil deal hints? Let's go. Trade up, trade HP for a clue. Silhouette me, please. Ah. Candy heart. Oh, it's a uh, rune, black, clear rune. Ah. <laughs> Bro, I need another devil deal. Okay, it's a repentance item. What the heck is this? This is like a copy rune. Cop, this is flute, plum flute. It does show up in secret rooms. It's white. Cracked. Cracked. Bong. It's a bong. From repentance. Angel. Thing. Prism. I have no idea. Gnome. Nod leaf. Magneto. Ah. I, I don't know what. Give me a devil deal, bro. I need help. I don't know. I don't know what this thing is. It's a, it's, it's plum flute. Ah. Last, we got a quote. Ah. Speed up, plus your feet feel stronger. Socks, orphan socks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did it. I forgot this item existed in the game. Holy. That's a funny doll. We should we should do that again tomorrow for sure. Check out how Isaacle was made. Can I say something? I don't mean to uh, to be presumptuous, okay? If the developer sees this, I'm not putting words in your mouth. I'm asking you an honest question. Did you like making the YouTube video about how it was made, or do you resent the fact that every occupation? has to also hustle and try to become an influencer within that profession as well. That seems like I'm an influencer. That seems annoying to me. Like I romanticize, as naive as it is, I romanticize the idea of like being a dentist. And if I was a dentist, you would catch me at work at 8.30. You would catch me leaving at 5.30 maybe. And then you would not see me post online about being a dentist for the rest of the week. That's for sure. Saturday, Sunday, that's me time. I wouldn't be tweeting shit about teeth five tools you need to have in your dentist's office, how to respond when your dental assistant uh, asks you for PTO, et cetera, et cetera. My ass would be, I'd be on the lake. <laughs> I would be somewhere else.
But if, if you liked making it, I'm not hating on you at all. It's just if you felt like society made you make the video, then I, I sympathize. Okay. Let me see if Kate is ready to stream. Why is it always one old man dentist and then three young female dental hygienists? I think it's society's fault. I don't think, because I think the subtext of what you're saying is that he's a pervert. I, don't, I mean, maybe, but like, I honestly think that lots of men just don't consider getting into the dental hygienist profession. Like, I, I've had lots of male nurses. I feel like that's changed a lot over the last, like, you know, 20 years or whatever. But I feel like dental hygienists has been 100% women, full stop. They, you know what they need? They need to remake Meet the Parents and have Greg Fokker be a male dental hygienist. And then all of his in-laws are dentists. And then it turns out that he did the dental exam, but then he just decided to be a hygienist instead because it fit his lifestyle better. I want to see a graph of like percentage of male nurses in the profession mapped against the release of Meet the Parents. I bet there's like an inflection point like eight years after Meet the Parents came out and like all the young boys who saw it are like, well, you know what? Maybe that's a good idea. Fucking 2008. It was a sausage fest. I don't know if that's true. Let me see if my wife is ready to stream. Hello. Are you ready to stream? Smiley face. My wife, so true. <clears throat> She says, oh, look at the time. Holy. I will get ready. It's all right. It's no. Dudes with wives love to say my wife. It's true. Unless you go through a period where you say, like, my partner, and then you're like, what am I doing? They know. <laughs> That'd be nice, though. They, you meet, like, new parents at daycare, and then just, if your wife's not there, say, like, oh, yeah, my partner brings my daughter in the morning. And then, like, make them think that you're gay married. And then when you show up to, like, their kid's birthday party, you're like, surprise, I'm straight, bitch. Gotcha! <laughs> Get on, bro! Because of my use of the ambiguous term partner, you thought I was in a gay marriage. I'm in a straight marriage, actually. So that's why you shouldn't assume... You got me, you got me. What is this bit? Media illiterate people, when you have a bit that says the word gay, is this homophobic? It's not homophobic. It's fucking insane. It's what an insane person would do. The joke is that I'm crazy. It's just dumb. Actually, it's probably the smartest joke that's ever existed. If it was dumb, you probably would have said it. I always say my partner, Dan, I'm married to a woman named Danielle. Oh, dude. And then when you show up, they're like, where's Dan? You're like, guess what, motherfucker? She's right here. That's great. That's a, I would use that. That's like a 50-year bit. 
I would use that bit every time I met a new person for the rest of my life. Oh, man. All right, Kate is live. I will send you over there. I call my wife my roommate and she hates it. I saw I love <laughs> I'm not I swear I'm not ragging on Apollo. I love when he talks about his old roommates and I'm like, bro, that's your brother, right? I get that like the important part of it is that they were your roommates because you're the story indicates that you were living in the same house. But I I laugh every time when he's like my old roommates are like this. And I'm like, bro, that's your you share fifty percent of your DNA with that guy. Okay. Anyway, I gotta go. Later. Enjoy your day. I'll be back tomorrow.